hold up, cheers porn, look at that pool, my goodness, so good. Okay, I know we're all about French onion soup today, guys, and this one is one epic version. This is my version of French onion soup. So there have been a lot of pantry style recipes floating around at the moment, but this one, French onion soup, one of those original pantry recipes. I mean, you just take a bunch of onions, a few other ingredients, and you have yourself a truly magical dish. Mine obviously has a few little extra special ingredients that give it a bit of an edge on the old school classic, uh, but let's get going on it. There is a tiny bit of work to do, and that is the chopping of the onions. Let's get that done first. Let's get the crying out of the way. All right, here we go. It's like I've just watched The Notebook. <laughs> Literally, I mean, who didn't cry? In the, oh, you'd have to be like, you'd have to be a narcissist not, not to cry during The Notebook. I mean, it's gotta be one of those telling things. Like if you're a sociopath or something and you don't cry during The Notebook, that's, it's gotta be a thing, right? Anyway. <laughs> really bad today. I think there are actual tears. <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea. What, what, do you have a solution? Yeah. That is not, it is, not, it, it will Don't put my head in the freezer. Get that cold air for you. I think this onion chopping is, is turning me crazy. All right, I'll keep going. So now you've got your big ass bowl of onions. Uh, thank god that's over. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is quite, I mean, this is like six to eight onions, quite a lot here. And what we want to do now is get them into the pot. We want them to really get sweet and luscious and all the beautiful things. And what we need to get that started is a little bit of butter. Okay, so I always just say a little bit of butter, but that obviously clearly is not a little bit of butter. <laughs> That's a lot of butter, but it is going to make the whole thing rich and beautiful and lovely. And what we need to do here is actually also add a little bit of oil as well. Now, why do you do that? So what we're doing here is making sure that those milk solids in the butter don't burn too much and adding the oil helps to stop that from happening. So, you know, there's method to adding fat on fat. Now add in your onions. And you want some salt here as well. So the salt here is not just about adding seasoning, like a salty flavor. It is actually also going to help draw out the moisture from the onion, which is gonna help it to sweeten up and get all lush. So it does double duty here. Now give everything a mix. And then here's where we need to be super patient. And this is gonna take an hour, my friends. Yeah, you heard that correct. Um, but what we're doing here is we're, you know, making magic happen. Uh, we're turning these onions, astringent raw onions, into beautiful, sweet, sticky goodness. Uh, and that's gonna take an hour. I want you to come back and give them a stir every so often, make sure they're not burning on the bottom. And we'll come back and see how they look. In the meantime, we actually do need to make a little bit of a stock, so let's get on to doing that. So I'm starting off with some beef stock, and do you know what? Beef stock is such a pain to make at home. I barely ever make it at home, so I'm gonna go with the store-bought one, and we're gonna jazz it up a little bit, because that's the easiest thing to do. So pop that into a saucepan, and here we go with some of those little special marine ingredients that I was talking about earlier. Obviously not traditional, but we're gonna add some star anise into that beef stock. That's gonna give us a really beautiful, sort of subtle spice in the background of our soup. And some bay leaves as well. And then just let that simmer away for about 15 minutes and then turn it off and we are just waiting for our onions. So these onions smelling crazy delicious. Let's have a look in here and you can see they are so shiny and sticky and that beautiful color, that is exactly what you want. Now what I wanna do here is deglaze the pan with a little bit of Shaoxing Chinese cooking wine. Yes, another little, you know, different ingredient, but one that I love because it's gonna add a beautiful kind of fragrance and aroma. Um, look, if you wanted to keep your cooking alcohol free, you could just add a little bit of apple juice here to kind of give you a little bit of a fruity kind of flavor. And then make sure when you're stirring that wine through that you are kind of lifting off all that beautiful dark color from the bottom of the pan because that is pure flavor, my friends, all of that caramelized goodness. And now we're ready to add in another little unconventional ingredient. But for me, like a comforting warm soup always has a little dash of ginger. 
one of those things, I guess, when you grow up having gingery Asian soups. So I'm just gonna grate some of this in. So now we've got that really good, deep, oniony flavor base there. Now we can add in the stock that we made earlier. So I'm just gonna strain that straight in. All right, now things are looking really good in there, smelling amazing. Last few little bits and pieces, I want some soy sauce to kind of boost up the saltiness and the savoriness. And lastly, just a little bit of corn flour that I've mixed with some water and that's just gonna thicken everything up and make it nice and glossy. All right, now I'm just gonna taste and see how we're going with seasoning. Mm. Do you know what's so good about that is that you've got that, mm, that sweet onion and then that beefiness and the soup and everything. Oh, so good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt though, just a pinch. So now we're at the final and I think most critical stage of any awesome French onion soup or Frenchish in this case, uh, and that is the cheesy toast. Okay, a little bit of like architectural kind of business first up. You want some toast, you don't want it too thick uh, because you want to be able to get your spoon through there. I've got these beautiful little mini pots, but anything that will survive, you know, at 10 minutes or so in the oven is what you need. Now, soup goes in. Now your piece of toast just floats on the top. And now you want a heaping mound of cheese. Uh, the traditional one here would be a French style Gruyere. I'm not gonna mess with tradition here because I love Gruyere cheese, so on that goes. And then they just need to go under a hot grill five, 10 minutes or until you get some oozing, bubbling goodness. All right, so how good do these look? That golden, deep, dark toast with all of that cheesy goodness on there, oh, so good. I'm just gonna finish this off with a little bit of chives. You could use parsley or chives, either one is fine. There you go, guys, French onion soup done a little differently, but very deliciously. <laughs> I need to get in here because this cheese is calling my name. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, check out that cheese, Paul. I mean, I know we're about the soup today, but oh, that cheese, oh, so good. Wow, that is so breathtakingly magical. I mean, you have that sweet, deep onion flavor, all of that beefiness, uh, and then that beautiful, creamy, tangy cheese. Oh, really is like heaven, oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna cry, it's so good.